Good morning, fellow travelers. It's just Jeremiah. Oh, waking up here on the northern, northern coast of Maui. Uh, I've been sleeping super restlessly lately. Oh my gosh. Like lower back pain from getting older. Issues with my nose. I think it's like autoimmune diseases caused by allergies and stuff causing my polyps in my nose and my mucus to become inflamed and I can't fucking breathe and then I can and then I can't and so I sleep like four hours and then I toss a turn for like seven hours. And... <sighs> it sucks, but I'm awake. Gotta get the show on the road. You know, it's limited sunlight this time of year, so we're gonna get a move on it. Keep going counterclockwise around the island and see where the day brings us. Cool. Wow. Hawaii has been good to me. This is such a nice spot. Not recommended. Not kosher. Technically, I'm homeless on the island right now, though. I'm not here camping. Just exploring while homeless. Some of you might be pissed at me for this. I'm not trying to piss anyone off, but... When the Polynesians came here, which I have nothing in a relation to, and she just shut the fuck up, but they came here with next to nothing like I have. They didn't come here staying in big fancy retreats and resorts. I'm not gonna shit on the land. I might shit in the land. I put down the way I should. The microbiome might thank me. Or it might not. I'm gonna get off this topic, bye. Waihee Ridge was mile marker seven. We're at mile marker 41. Looking good. I gotta try to keep up with Agatha. Wait up! Just kidding, don't wait up, I'll catch up. You gotta do Maui in a convertible, so here we go. Thumb out, put your thumb out. That's our shot. All right, cool. These guys, which are pretty cool. Done the Grand Canyon. Uh, I, I, have you guys done the Kalao Lao Trail on Kauai? Not yet. Not yet. Getting a ride in a convertible in Maui while hitchhiking was epic. I was so excited for the day. But unfortunately, the sound was tough with all the wind. I feel really blessed right now. I, I think you were so fortunate to live in the U.S., right? Um, with the, the wealth of the United States, seeing how other people live and do things differently. I, I would say one of the things I, have, I, I do more of is get out and explore towns like what you guys are doing, like on foot, off the beaten path. Cool. Instead of just checking it off a, a list. Yeah, you know, oh, here's the top ten spots. That's the only place I'm ever going to go. And then you can tell people you were there. That's cool. So you're saying that basically it's helped you find new passions you might not have had, like having an interest in architecture you may not have had it, might not have had if you went to Europe. Absolutely. And uh, it's, yeah, it taught you to get out and maybe like get a little more of the intimate in and, and then changed your perspective on a lot of things. That's awesome. Do you think it's affected, uh, and I guess it's another weird question, do you think that uh, traveling in the way it's affected you has like had a beneficial aspect to maybe like your work productivity or anything or? Oh, absolutely, that's why I'm here now. Um, I, I'm one of those people, I probably have a little more of that European mindset, you know? I work to, to live. Yeah, and good. I live to work. <laughs> that's great. Um, and so I'm here recharging the batteries to get off on a good foot, you know, at the beginning of the year. So without a doubt, travel just totally uh, re recharges, resets, gives me a different perspective. Reminds you why you're working. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> They actually have professional surf tournament here. The, the women, um, it's it's calm right now, but um, mm -hmm. 
this bay breaks pretty good most of the time and I had this here once when, when the tournament was going on it was really cool to watch all the women surf. Our kind of bonding thing is playing golf together so I said and it just so happened to be my birthday. Makalua Puna is a Wahipana sacred site to Na Kanaka Maoli, Native Hawaiians. Entry is discouraged except for Hawaiian protocol or cultural practices. Your cooperation and respect are appreciated. Mahalo, thanks. Thank you. All right, so I have to show respect when I go there. I have lots of respect for indigenous belief systems. So I'm just going to come in with reverence and drop the camera for now. So, see ya. Actually, my thought. Absolutely. Like, seriously. And now when you saw, saw it, said it, I'm like, what? I thought only me having that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I was just in Bend, Oregon, they get nine inches a year. <laughs> well, you know, that's the funny thing. I wouldn't want to be inside. Okay. So there's galleries all up and down, both of these streets and side streets. This is Front Street. Just open it up a little bit here. tree is like one single tree. Pretty cool. I like the banyan trees. So that whole park is just one single tree. The tendrils will grow down and then start a new root system. Like I said before, it'd be like if we grew into our grandparents. It's a giant walking mess. No thank you. I had truly known and communicated to Agatha that we would have no problem getting rides and that we would make friends in the process and we would end up spending the whole day with someone. I'd probably said that the day before. We got a ride. It's incredible. We're convertible. And, off to such a great and I think they forgot about me already. They're already up there. So here we are in Paella on Maui. We were going to go to Charlie's for breakfast. It's a restaurant where Willie Nelson would regularly frequent because this is the town he lives in. But it was boarded up and closed, sadly. So we're gonna grab breakfast somewhere else. So yeah, I really like Paella. It's a cute little town. Man, I'm looking shaggy and rough. I think I'm just gonna ride it out. I was thinking I never really grew my hair too long. Imagine if I stayed on the road and just, I wonder what it would look like long. Probably horrible. Don't do it, huh? Uh, yeah, I'm there talking in the restaurant and uh, I'm just kind of feeling like splitting off for a second, having a quick smoke and like, it easy. All right, getting out of our ride for now. We're at uh, Kite Surfing and Surfing Point. You'll see the name below. Hey, this is handy when I could just say the name below and not actually know it until I do my research afterwards. I really like it. Do you like the added text below? It actually takes a lot of work. 